Hello guys, uh, welcome back. So today we are going to uh, do a quick walkthrough of uh, timing and profiling code in a data camp course, which is a uh, writing efficient code in Python. Okay, so if you haven't seen my previous videos of this uh, walkthrough, please uh, do watch them and then come back here. Okay, guys, so let's get started. So here in this exercise, uh, first of all, what is the time it? Okay, see time it is used. It, it's basically a magic method. Okay, so which we can use for uh, calculating uh, the time of uh, the function execution or the piece of code execution. Even it can be one line, two lines or multiple lines. Okay, so using time it, we can calculate the time, how much it has taken to execute those lines. Okay, guys. And here, what is the instruction? Use list comprehension and range to create list of uh, integers from zero to 50 called num list. Okay. So what we can do for number in range, what they want to from zero to 50. Okay. So I will give just 51 here. Okay, guys, let's submit the code. This should be correct. Yeah, this is correct. And now in the second instruction, use range to create list integers from zero to five and unpack its content into a called num unpack. Okay, so that means they didn't want to do the list comprehension. They want to just uh, directly unpack it. So how can we unpack? Directly range, right? And let's do this one. Okay, so this is also true. And finally, let's use time it. Okay, within our uh, IPython console and to compare actually basically to compare the runtimes for creating a list of integers from zero to 50 using list comprehension versus unpacking the range object. Okay, don't include print here statements when you are executing. Okay, so what is which method is the fastest one? So how can we do it? So just do hash, okay, time it and range of 51 isn't it so how much time it has taken let's see that it is still executing maybe my internet is a little slow guys bear with me yeah so we got uh, some 3.35 seconds here and let's execute this for list comprehension whatever we have done so how to do that num for num in range 51 right yeah let's run this as well and this took uh, how much time it has taken 2.46 and this has taken 142 okay guys so that means uh, list comprehension is faster than the unpacking one okay so sorry earlier i was mentioning this one okay so let's submit this answer Try refer to the time order of magnitude chart if needed. Faster order of time. So this it is saying that okay. This is incorrect. So unpacking is faster. Oh, so then what is the current way to see the times here? I seriously don't understand, guys. Where we have to see? Is this the correct time or this is the one? I'm not very sure, but these guys are saying that the unpacking is faster than list comprehension. Okay, cool. Let's move on. And let's, what is the correct syntax when using time it and only using five runs with the 25 loops for each run. Okay, so what is the correct syntax? So the correct syntax is C for the number of runs, we need to give minus R option. Okay. And for the number of iterations, okay, we need to give minus N. So here 525, right? So this is the correct one. Yeah, this is the one here. They have double uh, slashes here. And let's submit this. Cool. And in the next exercise, use time it formal name or literal syntax okay so create a empty list called formal list using uh, this method and this method 
So basically what we are doing is uh, we are creating a list, okay, using a list function. We know right how to create a list. So this is the one way and other way is directly this one, okay. Hmm, syntax is incorrect. Okay, I have extra bracket there. That's okay. And now print out the type of formal list and literal list to show both naming conventions created a list. Okay, so let's print out the type of formal list. So what is the formal list type of formal list? I will just take this one and here also type of this one literal list. Both of them obviously list only. Yeah, we got the list classes here. And now he is asking us to use time it. Okay, use time it in your Python I console. Compare the run times between creating a list using this one and that one. Let's see that. Time it. This is a list. Hopefully, I mean, we will get uh, this time right, guys. Okay. Yeah, it took some time here and time it directly list. See, I see this is a 19.7 and this, I see this one as 88. So obviously using, uh, what is this, uh, constant uh, literal object creation is uh, faster than the list method. Okay, so using literal syntax to create is a faster one. Correct, right? So earlier, I don't know. I mean, uh, this is the time it has taken to create, uh, I mean, execute this line of code. But anyhow, guys, so let's move on. Using cell magic method, double hash time it. From here on out, you will be working with the uh, superheroes data set for this exercise. Okay, so okay. Let's read this guys. Okay, this entire uh, thing here. I'm, I mean, I will pause the video. You, you can also read it here. Okay. And once I am done with the reading, I will uh, resume the video. Okay, guys, I have read this one. Okay, so I hope you have also read this entire uh, uh, description over here. So what we have to do is uh, we have to uh, calculate the execution time for these two approaches here. Okay. So how can we do that uh, in um, IPython shell. So it's, it's pretty simple guys. So we can just give this one in the first line and we need to enter uh, using shift to plus enter. Okay, if you directly and uh, press enter, right? It will create a new uh, cell here, but we want to avoid that, right? So because of that, you just do uh, shift to plus enter. And after that you copy paste this code, okay? Copy and paste it here and now enter. It will take some time to uh, execute this one and then it will give you the time here. Okay, so let's wait for a moment. Yeah, we got it here, right? So we got eight to six, okay, milliseconds maybe. And let's do it again for the next approach. Sorry, see, that's a problem here. We will have to hit shift to place enter. Okay, not the uh, simple enter. So let's print it, I mean, paste it here and press enter. Now also it will take a, a moment to get the values here. Mm, yeah, I'm waiting, waiting, yeah, got it. See, we got the output here, right? So it is 14.8 and this one is 82.6. So that means uh, numpy array one is the faster one, right? So let's submit this one. Cool, guys, right. so that is very simple, right? So nice work you used uh, uh, percentile, percentile time it, I mean uh, cell magic mode to time multiple lines of code, converting the WTS list into a numpy array and uh, taking advantage of uh, numpy array broadcasting saved you, you some, sometimes. That means see numpy arrays are very fast guys. Okay. So whenever, wherever it is possible uh, to, I mean, try to uh, use numpy arrays in your code. Okay. So let's move on to the next exercise. 